helps with running TikTok ads. Here we go. Finally, live. Uh, so I'm going to be walking through a couple things here real quick. Uh, some things about what you need to know as far as running TikTok ads. Some of the things, some of the most key important uh, aspects of it. And um, we'll kind of get started. So wherever you guys are coming from, guys, let me know down below because we are streaming in multiple different locations. Um, and I will have uh, my assistant, Kevin Keith. So if you do see a message from Kevin Keith, uh, if you see a DM from him or whatever in the future, just uh, just to know that he is part of the team. OK, guys. Um, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment. Again, I'm using StreamYard, so I we're streaming in multiple different locations. I should be able to see all the comments that are coming through. And just like this one here um, from this unknown anonymous user. And um, yeah, I'll be able to show it on here and, um, you know, we'll be we'll be good to go. So uh, Kevin is going to be helping me with kind of getting some resources ready for you guys. If you guys watch until the very end, we're going to give out uh, a couple of resources here that will really help you guys uh, as far as just having a lot of success on TikTok ads. Um, so again, my name is Danny Vega. I've been running TikTok ads for almost about eight months now, I believe. Um, maybe, yeah, about eight months. Uh, past that, been doing digital marketing for 15 years, been running Facebook ads for almost eight or nine years. Uh, it's been a long, long time. Been in the local lead gen business for almost a decade, uh, which now that I just said that, it makes me feel super old. Like <laughs> I can't believe I've been in one space just focusing on that for almost an entire decade. Uh, 10 years sounds way better than a decade. So that, I want to start using that from now on. But um, yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been quite a journey. Uh, you know, I have launched Facebook ads course way long time ago, about eight years when I first created my entrepreneur hustle group on Facebook. Uh, it's now up to 65,000 members, which I'm definitely grateful for. Uh, we've had a lot of success, uh, helped a lot of students, a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of people focusing on the digital uh, marketing agency aspect of kind of where they wanted to grow grow and go. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a really good journey. So besides myself, let me kind of talk about why TikTok and why now? Okay. So TikTok is definitely a, a brand new platform. Obviously, if you are not on the app itself, it is something that you definitely need to get on. Okay. Um, it's one of the fastest growing social media platforms. It still is. It was definitely number one last year and it probably is this year. And to be honest, I haven't really even checked because just there's no need. It's just, it's been growing so much uh, that tons of users from other platforms are moving to TikTok. And one of the reasons why you should be growing on there, even if you're not running ads, okay, but just on the platform itself, it's for the exponential growth that you're going to have, okay? Again, I'm not the expert on the organic side of TikTok by any means. I'm just putting that out there. But I have seen some amazing growth just from uh, my daughter, uh, from other clients that we work with, with, with growth that they've been able to achieve in their business because of being on TikTok consistently. Uh, other entrepreneurs, other... Uh, people in the industry who also teach it. And they've seen, I've been able to see amazing growth from it as well. So just because TikTok is pushing it so much, uh, the amount of views that you can get, the amount of followers and the exponential growth that you can have in your business right now, by far, far, far as far as fastest growth, you haven't seen anything just like TikTok, okay? So definitely, if you want to focus on one social media platform for growth, I highly recommend focusing on TikTok. Um, now, that's not to say that TikTok is going to be is going to be the end all be all of your growth online, but it is something that you should definitely use to get started and then eventually move people off of the platform elsewhere. OK, so just keep that keep that little last tidbit in mind that you do need to have a plan and a strategy in order to move those individuals off the platform uh, to another location. OK, if you really want to be able to grow. And even monetize, like for example, YouTube, definitely the monetization on YouTube is way far greater than what it is on TikTok right now for every thousand views. Um, you know, one of the things, so there's really three things that we've seen over the last, you know, eight months now, as far as what's really been helping on the ad side of things. Um, and we're going to cover that here right now. I, I really wish I could have, and I can't figure it out with StreamYard, but I have my iPad here and I had, you know, some things that I want to present that I can't because it's not, I'm not able to share that on the screen, but we'll figure that out. You know, either way, I'm still going to go on with the live, but one of the three, one of the first, the first three things 
is really going to be the creative, okay? So the creative is not as difficult as you guys may seem, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna get into a little bit about what I'm currently doing with the creative that's actually helping me. And I'll tell you about my struggles and one of the reasons why I haven't been able to put out as much content until I kind of figured out this little method that I'll be sharing with you guys. Um, my brain works a little bit different than most people. So, and I'll, you know, if you're like me, then hopefully what I'll, what I'll be sharing with you guys will definitely help. But creativity can, doesn't have to be that difficult. Okay. One of the most important things, one of the most common questions that I've been asked from the two master classes that I had in the past to DMs all the time, people who've bought my course, this is still like one of the top questions that I've been asked is how do we get started with the creative side, okay? So what I recommend is just to open up the app on, on your phone, right? Open up TikTok, go over me because they changed the UI. So let me show you exactly where you need to go. Um, let me skip this ad. Okay, so you are going to, on the home, right? On your home screen or on the home um, dashboard of the app, when you open it, on the top, Right-hand side of the screen, there's a little magnifying kind of looking glass, right? When you click on that, you're going to see a search and my screen, because of the lighting, you can't see it, but you're going to be able to see a search query field that you can type anything into. And it's going to give you suggested searches just based on uh, hot trends and things like that, right? What I recommend is whatever niche you're in, try to be as you know, one or two worded in your queries as possible, right? So let's say, for example, you are a roofer or you're an agency helping roofers out. All you got to do, <clears throat> and I'm going to do it on my phone. And I'll show you the results. You're going to type roofing. That's simple, right? So when you type roofing, you're going to get a couple suggestions just like this. And I'm going to try to see, let me turn off this light here. And maybe that helps. Might not really see it. There we go. Maybe if I get closer, but I can't get any closer. But anyways, you get the idea. You're going to see some suggestions on the screen. So if you're following me on your phone, or you may not be because maybe you're watching the stream on the phone, but you're going to see things like roofing construction, roofing tips and tricks, uh, roofing in Estados Unidos in Spanish, roofing sales, installation business, and so forth. So TikTok's going to auto-suggest a couple of different um, you know, things based on what you're searching for. What I recommend, just ignore those for the meantime, right? You can always go back later on if you want, if you kind of want to dive a little bit, a little bit deeper and just search for your generic niche. When you do that, you're going to see searches. You're going to see videos. You're going to see TikToks, right? Now, from here, just go through and look at the videos or the TikToks that have the most highest likes and engagements, comments, and just start you know, kind of going through this and seeing what is it that they're doing? Like, what is it that makes that particular video a little bit different than the others as far as why it's getting views? Could it be the captions? Could it be the thumbnail? Um, is it like the the hook? Is it the introduction, the first, you know, one or two seconds of the, of, of the video? What is it that makes that video stand out? And why did it call your attention? And I think that's one of the most important things is, why did it call your attention? Because you're the one searching for it. You're doing the research. Why did it call you out? Why? What is it about that particular video that made you want to watch it, right? So when you start doing that, you're going to start seeing patterns. What I suggest is to write things down, keep a journal, whether it's on your phone, whether it's on your computer. It doesn't matter. Just keep track of exactly what it is that you see in order for you to come back and then really kind of figure out and, and hone down as far as the creative that you can do, right? Um, so that's kind of the first thing. The second thing is going to be just as easy as that. It's doing the work, right? It's actually doing the TikToks. It's doing the consistent content on a daily basis. Um, all this kind of plays together as far as being able to just grow on the platform. Um, so now if you guys happen to follow me on TikTok or if you see my channel, you're gonna notice that I have not been consistent on TikTok at all by any means, right? Um, and and to be honest, that is something on the organic side that I struggled with, right? On the on the ad side, like we've got it, we've helped lots of clients, had a really good, amazing results, ran you know hundreds and hundreds of different campaigns, but for my personal brand on the organic side, I haven't been there, um, and I just now figured out 
for me a pattern that I can go with that's going to make it so much easier, right? And this is something that you guys may find helpful, uh, which I'll be more than happy to share with you guys. And after this, I'll go into the number three thing that will definitely help you guys when it comes to running TikTok ads and having success. So what I've been able to do is just to like, for example, this video here that I'm doing right now, I'm recording it. And guess what? After the recording, it's probably going to be a 20, 30 minute video or, or whatever, right? I'm going to take it to my team and they're going to chop it up. That simple. They're going to chop it up. They're going to add captions. They're going to add sound effects. Just like you might've seen on my latest, maybe like 10 videos that I put on, on, on TikTok. And I've also repurposed those on Facebook reels, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, as many different places I can all over the internet. Right. Um, so for me, just recording video, going live, you know, recording my course content, going back through my old course content that I have on different digital marketing strategies and topics, and then just giving that to my team where they can then take those videos, chop it up into micro segments, and then put that back out on social media. That's going to be the easiest thing for me that I can possibly do in order to just have consistent content out there. Um, now for you guys, if you are in the, you know, if you're, if you're doing content at all, or if, even if you're not, and you are able to just like I am right now, then you might find it that that's going to be the easiest thing that you can do just to be able to put content out there. Um, because other than that, it's just you taking time to sit down and either plan out content or do, uh, recordings and batches on your phone and then, you know, create those TikTok style videos. That might be the easiest way for you. Uh, but for me, I just, just with my schedule with the agencies, with courses, with consulting, and now with the car rental business that we have, it's just so much, it's harder for me to be able to sit down and do micro videos, even batch format, rather than just, hey, going live, let me go live for 10 to 15 minutes. Even if I don't go live, let me just record something on my screen as if I was presenting or teaching it to somebody. And then I can go back and record those micro commitments uh, later on and then put that out in social media. So uh, if you guys think that tip is helpful for you all, just like, you know, give me some likes, give me some hearts. Let me know in the comments below. Um, because if it is, then hopefully that would help other people out. And this video can reach out others as well um, because it did for me. So I think that's one of the things that that's definitely helping out uh, for me at least. Right. And when it comes to creating content, uh, and at the end of the day, creating content, you know, and this is kind of a side topic off of TikTok ads in general, but creating content in general is the way that you're going to grow. Being omnipresent for your audience is going to be super important. You know, even though, you know, we run TikTok ads, we still run Facebook ads, we do SEO. If you could do more than one thing, but do it right, then I suggest highly doing that. Okay. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions in the meantime, feel free to leave a comment below. I will go through here and answer Q and A's. I love Q and A sessions at the end of any kind of live. So I'll be more than happy to go through and, and, and answer anyone here. And again, my assistant, Kevin Keith, uh, will be kind of partaking, maybe responding to people, sending DM, things like that. So just be on the lookout for Kevin Keith. He is part of the team as well here. Okay. So last but not least, the number, th the number three, not number third, but the number three tip uh, when it comes to TikTok ads is testing, okay? Um, there is never really one specific strategy that will always work at the end of the day, you know, for months and months and months. Um, testing is going to be your biggest friend. Now, when it comes to generating leads, we typically use conversions, okay? Even on Facebook ads, we still use conversion. On TikTok, we still use conversions. The lead generation method, the lead form, we test it, but we have not found that the quality of those leads are up to par as they are on the conversion side of things, okay? So that's one thing important to keep in mind. Um, but again, just because I've said this now, it does not mean that it's going to be this way in a month from now. We will always continue testing no matter what, okay? That's just part of how we are as far as an agency, how I am as an individual. And since I'm teaching people, going live and consulting with people, I have to continuously test things as well, which, you know, which then in return, I share with, with you all, my audience, right? But generating leads is not difficult. Um, we typically set up one campaign and this is where the iPad would have come in handy, but can't figure out how to share this little thing on StreamYard. So until next time, 
um, I'll just be kind of talking about it. But when it comes to generating leads and doing a lead generation campaign on TikTok, we set up one campaign, right? So we have one campaign. We do not use um, CBO at all on TikTok. And again, we've tested it. We will continue testing it. But as of today, as of this recording, CBO does not outperform uh, ABO, which is the ad group budget optimization method. Um, so we have one campaign set up. We typically, depending on the budget, we have one ad set set up, right? Or one ad group, depending on what they want to call it. Um, and then from there, we do a three to one strategy, which is three ads to one ad group. Okay. Generally that format, one campaign, one ad group, three to one, three ads to one ad group. Typically that has been our best performing setup and strategy when it comes to running ads on TikTok in order to generate leads. Now, again, there's a couple of different campaign strategies depending on what your business is needing. Uh, but for a lot of clients that we focus on, a lot of the you know strategies and tips that we teach, it's focused on the lead generation aspect of digital marketing. Um, so generally that's what's been working the best. Uh, when it comes to the landing page, we've tested quite a bit of different things. We've tested long form landing pages. We tested shorter form landing pages. We've tested, we've tested, we have tested survey style landing pages where typically you click on the ad, you answer a couple questions, then you opt in. And then from there you continue on with the funnel flow that you have set up for either yourself or for your clients. Um, so generally that's been what's big, what's been working the best for us as far as what we run uh, ads for, as for our clients. Um, so again, just kind of a recap. So content is going to be the most important thing, creative. You have to constantly change out your creative in order to really hone down and figure out what your creatives are. Just take the app, take the TikTok app on your phone, search for your niche, um, just use one or two phrases, narrow it down, and then just start jotting down on a piece of paper or on a notepad on your computer, what it is that about that particular video that stood out to you. Uh, and then that way, as time goes on, you're going to start figuring out a pattern. You can start developing your own creativity uh, as far as creating your TikToks for yourself. Um, one of the, the second tip is to go ahead and film, you, you create your TikToks, create your short micro uh, video content on social media by recording long content first. And again, that long piece of content, you can easily upload those to YouTube. So you're really doing one thing once you're filming a long piece of content one time, and then you're just chopping it up right all the way down. And then you can repurpose that all over Facebook reels, Instagram reels, your Facebook groups, your business page, your TikToks, YouTube shorts, even Pinterest, um, Twitter, you name it, emails. Like you have unlimited opportunities. You can cover all of social media just by doing one thing first, which is recording that long piece of content. Um, and then the last but not least, as far as tip number three is going to be just testing out different things. Again, our best performing campaigns and forward lead generation is going to be one campaign, one ad group, and then three to one, which is three ads to one ad group. Um, so that's kind of our strategy. Those are the top three things that we've really kind of honed down and we help clients with when they come on board as far as the strategy and, and kind of tips and strategies that we give them to really have the, ad, the, the, the ads on TikTok be the best performing that they could possibly be. Um, now, of course, there's other little things, but I, I kind of, in this video today, I kind of wanted to go over the top three things that we have seen over the last eight months. So with that being said, I will go through and go ahead and pull up some questions here on my screen. If you guys want to stay around for some Q&A session, feel free. Um, this should take no more than maybe five to 10 more minutes. So if you guys have any questions in the meantime, go ahead and um, drop a comment below. I'm going to go just take a quick sip of water here. My mouth is super dry. And then um, we'll go through and answer some of these questions real quick. All right. So we got Kevin Lee here saying, hey, hey, Kevin, what is going on? Kevin is a video master here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Again, feel free. Yep, feel free to ask any questions, guys, uh, in the comment below. Um, t -t 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 Aaron said, "Great tip here." Okay, and we actually have a top, and I think it's like almost top eight hundred now. But just like Aaron Sawyer says, he saves all the TikTok ads that he likes and sees, which is a great strategy. Super simple to do. Um, 
Let me see if I can share my screen here because we have, again, like I mentioned, we've been compiling and I think we're up to like 800 right now, but it's the top. It was the top 600 converting conversion, sorry, top 600 conversion ads on TikTok that we have been able to go through and, uh, and then pull and we've taken stats and all sort of stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, let me see how I can share my screen. Do, 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 do. Okay. Picture in picture layout. Share screen. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I need to share a window. Here we go. All right. So you guys should be able to see up here top, you know, and again, I don't know what it is. Let me just scroll through and, and see, I think we're almost top 800 right now. Nope, more than that. Wow. Top, <laughs> the top 1,054 conversion ads on TikTok right here for you guys. So if you guys are, if you guys want that, um, just drop like, drop hashtag top ads on the comment and we'll get that resource out to you guys, okay? Uh, but again, if you guys scroll through TikTok, every, it's usually like every four to five TikToks that you scroll through, you should see an ad. Now, if you don't recognize the ad, then that's good because the, the, the ad's doing its job. It's not coming out as an ad. But the only way you can see an ad is on the very bottom left-hand side of the screen when you were looking at your phone, you're going to see in small letters, it says sponsored, okay? That is going to be the way that you can distinguish what an ad is. And again, if you don't see that right away, then that's good because the ad is doing its job. It's disguising itself as a TikTok. It is hard to be consistent on TikTok crushing ads. So yes, I mean, the ads is so much easier because you're just running ads. You're spending money behind it. Um, one good creative for, you know, that period of time, depending on your budget can do extremely well being or being consistent on the organic side of TikTok is more difficult, which is why for me, right? For me, what I found is just to record that long piece of content and then cut it up into different pieces and share it that way. Cause that's to me, it's a lot easier. Um, when it comes to testing ads, what is your process to knowing if the industry is going to crush? Uh, we've killed that many, but some are duds. Great question. Um, so we test, typically we test a lot of different creatives at the beginning, especially if it's an industry or campaign or something that we just haven't done yet. The easiest thing to do is if you, especially if you haven't done it on TikTok, right? There's two things. If you or the client or whoever you're running, if you've ran ads on another platform like Facebook or YouTube, um, let me kind of get the, uh, my autofocus is not right. But if you've ran ads elsewhere on another platform, then that is going to be your baseline, you know, metrics as far as what you need to know on what, you know, your CPC should be, your CPMs, your cost per lead, your acquisition, all that, right? The second thing, which is almost like easy, which is the number one, actually, yeah, the number one tip that I mentioned was to look at creatives that are crushing it on the organic side of TikTok. Um, that's going to be almost the, the number one thing that you should do on any industry, even if you had success on it, because people now are consuming this short term, short, short term type of content, right? They're not, I mean, they are sitting on YouTube, but they're not sitting on YouTube you know, looking at 15 minutes to convert into something or to buy a product. And, and the, the old style ads on Facebook don't even work anymore. It's a short micro form of videos that you need to be running as far as ads goes. Right. And that's, what's working now. So definitely take a look at just TikTok in general, find out what's working. And then just, like I said, test, 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 um, just test different creators at one time, you know, throw, don't, if your budget, let's say it's 10 K a month, you know, um, or let me kind of figure out, let's say it's, um, $30,000 a month where it's like a thousand dollars a day. Don't just blow a thousand dollars right away. Do like maybe $500 or do 250 and split them up between different campaigns, different ad groups, multiple different ads, and then figure out slowly by testing, which one is going to perform the best. And then that way you can scale. Uh, that's usually what we do every time when we, have a campaign that we're not really sure about or something new, you know, we will just test that way. So 
Um, is TikTok affiliate marketing friendly? Yes. I mean, there's been a lot of people that I know that they run TikTok ads for affiliate products. And they also on, are on the organic side of TikTok pushing affiliate products as well. Um, you'll see it all the time, especially on the ads. I've seen many, many ads where it's an affiliate product um, and not even their own like e-com store. Um, Carlos says, uh, what are you seeing as far as cost per mortgage application on TikTok ads? Um, so cost per leads, and I'll kind of start there and kind of work my way up. So there's two different metrics that we've measured as far as mortgage leads goes, right? They're, they're your kind of your bad leads, right? Like anything over, sorry, anything under like 620, 630, anywhere in that figure, you know, like you got your 500 credit scores, 550, high fives, all that. Um, generally, we've seen um, on average, like we've gotten better results. We've gotten, you know, worse results, worse uh, cost per leads. But on average, those types of, you know, credit score leads are going to be around the seven to maybe $9 range, kind of give or take a little bit. Then you have your good quality leads, which are anything over that 620 mark, right? Um, those are going to generally be, you know, 10, maybe $12 range, somewhere in that figure. Um, and of course it all depends on the, the market and it really depends on the creative as well, because the creative is going to play a big role into what your cost per lead is going to be. Um, and then of course, along with your creative, you really have your offer, which on TikTok are your two most important things, your offer. And then of course your creative, which is coming up right behind it. As long as those two are good then you should be able to hit those numbers. Now, as far as cost for application, from there, it just depends on the follow-up, right? Um, obviously, you're going to get those leads that convert that will automatically, depending on your funnel and your follow-up sequences, but you'll have those leads that will automatically fill out some applications, right? So it could be maybe three out of one, uh, or sorry, one out of three. In that case, let's say you're getting you know, $10 leads and one out of three, $30 per application. Uh, or if you have a good strong follow-up and you can get maybe two to one or one, sorry, one out of every two or even more than that, uh, then you're, then you're doing something really good. So hopefully that helps Carlo, as far as kind of giving you kind of an estimate range, as far as what, uh, those numbers could possibly be. Um, Aaron said, do you always create custom TikToks? Um, yes. So I do know some agencies and to be honest, I don't recommend it. Um, but I do know some agencies that they just have templated videos for their clients when they, when they run on TikTok, or they market themselves as like, okay, well, before I say that, let me kind of step back real quick. I, so I don't recommend creating one video for like every client. So let's say you're working with a dentist, right? And you just have one dentist or you take a, 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 a stock video and you buy the rights and you run that as an ad. I don't recommend just running that one video for like, you know, 10 or 20 clients all the time. Um, now I'm not saying that it won't work. I'm just saying for branding purposes, for, you know, those leads and those people who view the, that type of content, you know, cause I, we've seen the same thing on Facebook, those leads or those viewers that are watching your videos or looking at your ads or commenting on it and engaging they're going to be following your brand and looking you up on social media all over the place, which is one of the things that I kind of mentioned number two, which is kind of being omnipresent, being able to repurpose those videos. We've seen a lot of clients that we work with, especially in the local space, where they started to repurpose content and, and just be able to be on social media on all platforms. And now all the leads that, they're, that are showing up and customers that are coming into their business they're saying, you know, we've seen you here. We've seen you there. We've seen you everywhere. Now we come in, right? That's going to happen. If you take a stock video, it's not going to have the same effect long-term branding wise as if you were to do a custom TikTok for each client. Okay. So again, I do recommend creating custom TikToks, at least branded TikToks for your particular client. Um, the more you can get the client to do the videos, the better. Like the, what we do is we just have our clients create a TikTok account and just create daily content. As an agency, that's the most easy thing that we can do to just go and grab a new video that we want to test as an ad, you know, wait and see which video goes viral, which goes, you know, which has a higher view count. And then we can easily nitpick and choose 
those videos are then put some money behind it and see how they're performing. Generally, they do perform even better than if we're just creating random content from the client and we're just running those as an ad. Um, so that's kind of a, a, another little strategy that I could definitely talk about, guys, uh, a little bit further. But yes, I do create, I love creating custom content, at least from the clients. Um, all right, again, so if you are commenting top TikTok or top ads, hashtag top ads, we will go through and we will share the resource of the top 1,054 conversion ads that we've been able to uh, accumulate from TikTok. Um, and again, guys, we do have a group dedicated just for TikTok, which um, we did create this about maybe two months ago. There hasn't been much content in there yet from myself, but I will be, especially moving forward now, I will be doing a lot more videos, dropping a lot of knowledge, uh, a lot of golden nuggets, guys, for you guys when it comes to the ads as well. So join TikTok Ads for Entrepreneurs, uh, Kevin Keith, uh, right underneath here, there's a banner. Go ahead and take a look in the comments. If you're on mobile or on desktop, feel free to click the link on the comment that Kevin Keith uh, went ahead and um, and dropped. So just again, facebook.com slash group slash TikTok ads for entrepreneurs. Uh, next question for lead gen for a business coach. Is it better to use a business profile with Spark ads or just keep it? Great, great question. Let me take a sip of water real quick. Now, when it comes to running ads, if you're branding yourself on TikTok, then I definitely recommend to use Spark Ads. So Spark Ads, for those of you who don't know, is essentially just a dark post on Facebook, right? You put out a piece of content on the organic app itself, right? So you just post it on TikTok. Again, like I just mentioned a couple, a couple minutes ago, you let the videos run, see what kind of reach you get. If it gets a good amount of, you know, reach or views or whatever, then you can run those as a spark ad. But spark ad is essentially you're just taking money and you're putting an ad or you're putting, you're running an ad on behalf of a video that has been posted on the app itself. Um, so yes, I definitely do recommend that that will allow the brand or the account on TikTok to be able to grow as far as followers, um, as far as likes, comments, the engagement, all that kind of stuff. Now, I'll warn you real quick, if you could possibly get just depending on if you're using an old trend, um, if it's something controversy or whatever, you could have more of a negative effect on your account if you get like tons of like negative comments and things like that. So just kind of be forewarned that, you know, that it could have that type of effect as well. So. Uh, but yes, I typically do recommend using Spark Ads, and we do with a lot of clients that we work with. Um, next question, working with a coach and they can't share the pixel over to our business center, do you typically just get added to their account or do you actually find it beneficial to partner centers and just create pixels that you own? Great question. Um, it depends on how you have your agency set up. Um, a lot of the ads that we run now, again, we run a lot of spark ads. We run that from our business manager only because the clients don't want to deal with setting it up and, and so forth. Um, if you can get added as a partner on their business account, then that's, that's great. Uh, as far as an agency goes, that way you'll be able to set up the pixel. Um, find out why they can't share the pixel. Um, if you're added to their business manager, you should be able to have access to all the assets on there. Um, if for whatever reason you don't, or they can't figure it out, get in contact with me, shoot me a DM. I, I can't see your name. I think with StreamYard, you have to like register your, your account with Facebook on StreamYard um, in order for your name to pop up. So just shoot me a DM. Let me know that, you know, you're the one that asked about the, the pixel in the business center. And I'll be more than happy to help you out and, and figure that out for you. So that way you can get that rolling. Um, all right. So it looks like that's all the questions that have come in across, you know, six different streams that we're doing right now. Um, again, if you guys want the resource that I shared with, uh, or that I mentioned here earlier about the top 1,054 TikTok ads that are conversion campaigns, let me know, drop hashtag top ads. We'll go ahead and get that resource out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, yeah, Cassandra, awesome. Let me know. Just shoot me a DM. Uh, I'll be working here on my computer after we finish this live. Uh, but again, guys, 
appreciate guys and gals. Appreciate you guys hopping on this live stream uh, with some of the strategies on how to get started with TikTok ads. If you guys like this type of content, let me know in the comments below if you'd like for me to continue with this. And again, if you guys have any specific suggestions on topics for me to cover, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to, you know, reach out or to, you know, get some, uh, some, some information ready, go live again and share with you guys. So that way I can guys, or I can help you all out in your business and your marketing efforts as well. Until then guys, take care and I will see you guys later uh, on the next stream.